So this semester, I was fortunate enough to be asked to be a TA for Dr. Wickware's Public Church One course, which is a course first years take to kind of start to dabble with this idea of what is public church. I would say that throughout my four years at seminary, and I am confident in saying my time after seminary as well, public church will be a working and living definition that will never be set. So it's been a absolute privilege and honor to be sitting in on this class as a TA and learning from these first years, what does public church mean to you? And be reminded of just how vast this definition is. A part of this course, uh, Dr. Wickware has sections about reparations and also talking about anti-racist work in not only the church, but also in the United States and broader to the whole world as well. So this is really kind of prevalent on my mind currently for the work that LSCC does for anti-racist work where it is integrated into our coursework and, and it's a way to have kind of a safety net of calling out our own privilege but also to expand on not only what it means to do anti-racist work on a community campus like LSTC but also calling us to what it means in our future ministry to do anti-racist work in a vast number of different ministry settings. And so to be in this class, learning from first years about what it means to do anti-racist work currently here now as students, but also what does it mean to do it during CPE or MIC or um, future ministry and first calls. So it's been an absolute uh, privilege and pleasure to be in those conversations and in that room. And that's definitely a way that I think LSCC does really well is integrating it into our coursework so that we can learn about it and also be aware moving into future steps of our ministry, what it means to do anti-racist work.